Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can add 3D animated characters into our footage in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects, now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. So further right click on this project panel, import, select your footage or else we can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel. So here we got our footage here. So now let's select this footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a new composition with the footage properties. So if I play this, you can see we got this footage here. So I got this footage from pexels.com download link in the description if you want to use the same. Okay. So here you can see we got this perspective change, scale change and position change in the footage. So in order to place 3D animated characters in this kind of footage, first we need to track the camera. So in order to track camera, go to this window and enable tracker first so that we will get this tracker options here. So be on the first frame and here you can see we got this track camera option. Just click on the track camera option. So make sure you have selected our footage layer and click on this track camera. So it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done. This may take some time. So here you can see our tracking is done and we got some track points here. So let me increase the track point size so that it is visible clearly. So if I move forward here, you can see we got all these track points here. So now if I move on to this advanced options, here we can see this average error. It is of 0.44 pixels. So I think it is okay for this tutorial. If you got error more than one pixels, just click on this detailed analysis button. It will track once again and we will get lot more track points when it is done. And after that we may get this error value down. Okay. So now let's select few of the track points on this floor. So for that hold left mouse key and drag on this track points here like this. So I will select all these track points here. Now right click and select this create solid and camera. So here you can see we got this solid layer. So now press and let me increase the scaling here. R and let me rotate this here. Okay. So increase the scaling a bit. Fine. So now if I play this, you can see our track solid is staying in its position. Okay. So now our tracking process is done. So now let's see how we can download animated characters. So for that, I will be using Mixamo. So simply create an Adobe account, login into this Mixamo. After that, we are good to go. So click on this characters. So here we got this bunch of characters here. So from this, I will be selecting this Y bot. Simply click on that character. It will be updated here. After that, come to this animations and look for walking. So here you can use any kind of walking animations. So here I will be selecting this strut walking just simply click on that animation it will be updated here so here you can see it is of only 43 frames so i want to increase the frame so let me increase this bar here so that it will be extended to 86 frames so this is okay for me so after that let me reduce the speed override this one so i will reduce this to 25 percent and again we will get some more keyframes added so now i got this 115 frames okay so now click on this download button download it in fbx format only and frames per second you can choose either 24 60 that i will leave this to 30 because our footage is of 30 frames and download it with skin and click on this download button so once this is downloaded it will be downloaded in fbx format so we need to convert this FBX format into OBJ format. So for that I will be using this blender. So if you are new to blender don't worry. It is a simple process just 3 to 4 steps. So download and install blender. So blender is an open source here. So after downloading and installing open blender. So by default we will get this in. So in order to delete all the elements here. Press A on the keyboard and delete them. So now let's import our animation here. So go to this file. Import. We have downloaded FBX format. So let's select this FBX and locate the file. So here I got that file and simply click on this import FBX. Make sure this animation is checked in and import FBX. So here we got that character with the animation here you can see. So if I move this up, we can see we got this keyframes. So now move to the last frame here. Okay. And change this end value to this last frame. So end frame is 115. So I will change this end value to 115. Okay. That's it. 
So now come to this file, export, obj. So now let's create a folder to save our files. So here I have created a new folder, open that one. Make sure this animation is checked in or else we won't get that animation downloaded. So after this is enabled, click on this export obj. Okay. So once this is done, we can close Blender now. So let me close this one and come to this After Effects. Now let's create a solid layer for Element 3D first. So go to this layer options, new create a solid and look for element. So make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this window options and enable effects and presets and look for element 3D. So select this element and drop it onto this solid layer. So now click on this scene setup button. So we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So normally if you want to import any 3D objects, we will click on this import button. For this OBJ sequence, we need to go to this file option import. From here, we need to select this 3D sequence. So after clicking on that, locate your files. So let me locate my files where I have saved. So I think yeah, it is files. So select the first file and click on this open button. The, so the sequence will be imported here. So force alignment, let it be from bottom so that our character will be placed above this grid here and OK. So we got our character here, but it is not looking now. So here scroll down, click on this normalize size option. So now we can see we got our character. So if I scroll onto this frame offset, you can see our character has got animation here. Nice. So let me change it to zero and let me right click here onto the character. Don't make any position changes here. Just right click onto this character, Ox animation and align it to channel one. So after assigning this to Ox animation, here you can see this character is in group one folder. Okay, remember that one. So now hit okay. So here you can see we got our character here. So now we need to make this character to be aligned at the position of this track solid. So for that, come to this group one. Since our character is in group one, we need to work in group one. So expand this one. Come to this create group null, expand this one also and click on this create button. So it will create a null group null here. So now come to this track solid select the track solid press p on the keyboard for position values select door position values edit copy them now select this group null press p once again for position values select that position value go to this edit and paste so now we can see we got our character at that solid position so now we can hide out this track solid just hide it out so now select this element layer let's increase the scaling so come to this particle look and increase the scaling here like this. So I think this much is fine. Let me, okay, this is fine. And let me rotate this a bit. So come to this particle Y and okay. So this is fine. So now if I play this, you can see we got our character walking animation character in this live footage, but this character is not blending into the scene. So the reason is because of the environment. So the environment reflections are not focusing or not falling onto this character. So we need to make this environment reflections fall onto this character. So for that again come to the scene setup. So now click on this environment button. So now here we need to load the environment image. So actually we need a 360 image. So I don't have that. So I took a screenshot of the footage which I am using in this tutorial. So I will load that one only. So select that. So here you can see we got that image loaded here. So let me reduce the gamma a bit so that it will be bright. So I think this is enough and click on this OK button. So if I click on this environment option here, we'll, we can see our environment here. So now I need to match the perspective. So if I hold shift key and use left mouse key, we can rotate the environment. So I think this is the correct position of this environment. So now let's make this character a bit reflective. So for that expand this one, select this material and let me apply chrome material for this. Okay, so that we'll get this nice reflections of our environment. So let me select this material, scroll down and let me reduce this glossiness a bit. We don't want that much glossiness. So I think this is fine and select this below material and let me make it a bit glossy. I think this is fine and also let me increases refraction intensity a bit i think 0.2 is fine okay 
So now if I click on this OK button, we got our environment reflecting onto this character. Nice. So here now we are missing shadows. So for this scene, I think shadows is not required because we are not finding shadows of any objects here. So I will show you how we can add shadows for this. So for that, again, we need to go to the scene setup. Click on the scene setup once again and let's create a ground plane. So go to this create button, create a ground plane here. So press R on the keyboard and let me increase the scaling here like this. Okay. So this is going to be the ground plane. And for this, we need to apply this matte shadow option. Come to this physical, here you will get that matte shadow. Just apply it onto this plane. Now again, click on this OK button. So right now, nothing has happened. So now we need to create a light for shadows. So go to this layer options, new, create a light here. So I will be using parallel light and intensity. I'll change this to 100 and make sure this cast shadows option is checked in or else we won't get shadows. So make sure it is enabled and hit on this OK button. So light is added in the scene, but shadows are not getting reflected here. So select this element layer, scroll down, come to this render settings, come to this shadow options, enable shadows here and shadow mode change it to ray traced so now we can see we got the shadows so now we need to adjust the shadows here so for that select the light so come to this transform options so here if i move this light here you can see we are getting the shadows so for this i will place the shadows here like this and light options come to this light options i will reduce the shadow darkness to 75 or else let me reduce this to 35 so i think this much is enough and if you want to reduce the intensity or increase the intensity here you can do that so intensity i will reduce this a bit to 75 so i think this is okay so now we need to select the element layer once again scroll down come to this ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion and ao mode change it to ray traced okay and samples let me increase the samples to 16 fine so now if i play this we can see we got our 3d animated character into our live footage so in this way we can add our 3d objects 3d animated objects into our live footage easily using element 3d plugin in adobe after effects so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye